Hey guys, it is time for another weekly Dollar Tree haul video. This week I got some really great finds. A couple of things on my wish list that I was looking for that I'm so excited that I finally got. So let's go ahead and check out the goodies. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go into some of my favorite finds and some of my wish list finds that I got this week. Super excited. Now I've been joking with my husband that we are going to pack the kids in the car and go on a road trip so that I can start finding those. Um, I think it's false graph. I can't, I'm sure I'm probably saying right. False graph mugs. Well, I found two more this week. And let me tell you, sometimes I feel in the Dollar Tree that I am going to get like whiplash looking back and forth, trying to find new items, trying to, you know, see what is new because it's so easy to miss new items. And these were mixed around in my store this week. They weren't where they normally are, but oh my gosh, I was so excited to find them. This one says Grow Happiness. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to add this one to my collection. I think I'm going on like 12, but I have 12 mugs and I have seen so many that I don't have. So the thing is, is there's so many more out there to go ahead and collect, which is really exciting. That's why I joked around with them and said, we need to go on a road trip so that I can go to like a dozen Dollar Trees and get as many as I can. And then, ah, oh, I love this one too. This one says pajamas all day. Super excited to find this one. This one was definitely on my wish list. I've seen so many, and like I said, there's so many different ones that I have my fingers crossed to find more of them because I just, those cups make me so, so happy. Another wish list item that I've seen are these little jars with these silver tops. So they're a smaller size jar, and I think when they rang up, they said something like coffee, tea, holder cups or something. They ring up something and I was like, oh, okay, because I like to get ideas of what I can use them for. I already know I'm using them in my office. I grabbed three of them. So I'm going to use them for like paper clips, binder clips, things like that, rubber bands. But you could easily, if you have a coffee station, you could definitely put like little bags of sugar in here or creamers if you use the little bags of creamers or, you know, even if you want to use them in like your bathroom, you could definitely put some of your little hair accessories in here. So if you have like clips or um, uh, ponytails, like the one I have in my hair, little things or bobby pins, pins, little things that you don't want to get lost, but there's a million things that you could really, you could use these for basically anything, but I thought that these were so, so cute. And they actually have a space here if you want to put like a label on, you could go ahead and do that as well. So I picked up three of these, really excited, wish list item for sure. Um, I saw these and I haven't seen these anywhere or I haven't seen anyone haul them, but with summer, I have not been watching YouTube videos because we've been so busy. So um, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these are the Craft and Gold um, items. And I have pictures at the end of this video. Check them out. Cause if you like these three items that I'm showing you, they had many more and I snap pics of them. So I think these are really, so this is just a little album. I like to open up things for you guys. You can actually see them before you buy them. I just, this is like such a teeny, okay. This is so pretty with the paper, but I don't really know what I would use this for. It has, it's a miniature album i guess you know this would be really cute to make like a keepsake photo um or something in because it has this beautiful gold craft paper in here it is really really nice there are some lined ones there's some plain ones there's not much in here but i guess if you wanted to make especially for like teens if they wanted to do some kind of keepsake for like the summer with pictures with their friends or like journal a couple things they could definitely do that these are the items that really caught my attention because i wrap a lot of gifts with like craft paper and use different ribbons to kind of make it look kind of um you know homemade country kind of feel especially for like my friends just to make it a little bit more personalized but they had these mini craft and gold tags so these are the mini ones and then they had the um larger size so the mini you get 40 and then the larger ones you get 24 which is a huge value so these would be really awesome to use if you're 
um, helping with like a wedding shower, even a baby shower, a bridal shower party, some kind of a party um, where maybe you're giving like gift bags or doing something where you need to put cute little tags on. So the large ones are like this. They're a decent size. They have the hearts. Again, this pack you get, they have this one. This one you get 24 in, which I'm not crazy about that one, or you have this style. So I'm really digging the heart one, obviously is my favorite. But I mean, that is such a good value for these, and you can use them for gift tags. You could even use these at Christmas time. I mean, they're really, really kind of have like a chic look to them, so really nice. And then there are the smaller ones. Again, these have 40 in them, and these suckers are hard to open. So these look, so here you get the hearts. I actually like these better guys. You get the hearts and then you get the striped with the gold. Again, you get 40. So you're gonna get 10 of each of these. You're gonna get the line ones. So that's 20. And then you're gonna get the polka dot, which is really cute, 10 of those. And then 10 of these lined ones. So. 40 for a dollar is a really great deal. These are perfect for birthday gifts, teacher gifts, anytime gifts, you know me about the gifts. Anything that you can put together is a great deal, especially when you're saving money. 40 for a buck is a good deal. I personally prefer the smaller ones. I think the smaller ones look cuter and they're, a per they're still a perfect size for a gift, but look for those. Check at the end of the video, I'll show you some more pics. They had banners, they had gold letters. So if you're doing some kind of, you know, party where you need like a poster board or something, you wanna do a banner, congratulations. You could definitely do that for super cheap. So the goal now is to start getting stickers for scrapbooking for summer activities. So we're gonna be doing a lot of outdoor stuff, fishing, um, going swimming to the beach, Fun summary things because I'm really working on the kids books because I've really slacked on them over the years um, especially Sam it's like your firstborn you do everything and then the second you kind of like step back a little bit and take a break mama's jumping back in because these kids need lots of pictures so they have tons of memories so one thing Joe wants to do is go fishing now one sticker he did not like was the rifle there he said we are not using that one mom but um, it says gone fishing. It's got the little fishing tackle box, the bird. There are some hunting ones we do not hunt, but um, definitely really, really cute stickers there. And then these are like some boho with the elephant stickers I thought were really cute. Me and Sam can put something together like if we have a beach day with the kids, we can use these for um, their scrapping books just to make them look a little nicer so i'm not going crazy on stickers okay and at my store they do have these dream catchers these are 12 inches now i did get one in pink they had pink and blue i think i have a pick of the blue at the end of this video sam loves this stuff so this is for her for her room i did find the mermaid nail clippers now i don't know how these are going to work they're in the rose gold but i've seen a million people haul them and i thought okay we'll get one you know see how they work we have a ton of nail clippers so it's not like i needed to buy more than one anyway even though they're super cute so if you're putting together like i always think of this stuff if someone i knew was getting married and we were doing um, some kind of a bridal shower for them and I was making little baskets like gift baskets with bath items This kind of stuff is the stuff that stands out and it really is like an awe kind of a thing That's really different and nice and makes it look a little bit more than what you actually paid for it So I always like to include those items, but I don't have any of that going on so maybe you guys do and you can go ahead and use that idea but next, I did get some totes. And in a second, I'm gonna show you where I'm storing my totes now because a lot of you guys out there are like, with storage with Dollar Tree, you're like, and I totally understand it because Dollar Tree is addicting, costs a lot of money, lots of stuff. Do I use the stuff that I buy? And honestly, yes. Um, of course, there's always things that you buy that don't always get used, but the majority of the stuff I do or I re-gift, you know, give it away. Um, I, we love Mickey Mouse, so I found this Mickey, Mickey tote. 
These I always give away for birthdays. These are always a hit. So I love the black and white on the side with the Mickey Mouse here. And if you guys don't know, Target has a new line, well not a new line, but they have that all those Mickey Mouse products um, in store. Definitely check it out. I'm gonna put a link in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. The thing I like about the line is it's pretty reasonable, especially the mugs and things like that. So if you're looking for like a coworker gift or something like that, they have really cute things. So I grabbed this one. I go through these like crazy. We just had a birthday party this weekend. We used the Zoom Zoom bag. They go like crazy. And then these are bags I like to use for stockpile items that I'm giving to friends. I'll just fill them up, give them the bag, here you go. And they are happy as anything. So I really like the, this bag, it's a very sturdy bag. So I got one in this print and then one with the green, gray and the black, which is really nice as well. And then here is more of a summer print that I picked up too. These are really, good strong bags. I love this size as well. So one thing that I love to do is garage sale and I recently bought this um, tote basket or however you want to call it at a garage sale and I've been using it as my tote box so it's always good. You can see looks like I have a ton in here but I really don't because I've regifted so I've given so many away for gifts but there's kids totes in here. There's just all of my totes that I use um, for whatever, when I need a tote, I can just go in here, take it out, and I'm good to go. So what I'll do is I'll just file these new totes in here and um, have them all in one place so they're not everywhere. So when I need to look for one, I don't have to spend too much time doing it. So definitely investing in little containers and things for your Dollar Tree stuff is a great thing to do. Okay, so actually when this video is up, we are spending the evening um, at a hotel, we're doing swimming, we're going to an outlet mall, and what we like to do is do fun things on the way there to kind of get the kids, keep them entertained, keep them not asking, are we there yet, I'm hungry, things like that. So we usually get little funny things that we can do. We've done them with the mustaches before, but I found these disguised glasses. So basically what we will do is we just switch off and the kids will put them on, look out the window, and I'm telling you the last that you get from the other cars or the smiles are worth the $2. And then sometimes my husband will put it on, I'll put it on, and the kids just get, it, it's like the most littlest thing that really gets them happy, gets them smiling, and you know, it's just a different kind of a fun thing to do. So I picked up two of them. These are really, really cute. Just they're joking around, just like the name ran there, and just to have some fun. So we are going to use those. Um, I found these 4th of July glow balls. I got one in green. And you guys know I've been hauling a lot of 4th of July things just to kind of make the holiday a little bit special for the kiddos. I think we're just going to be home this year, so we're really not doing much. It's going to be pretty low key. They have a big fireworks display here that literally we go to in our backyard and we have the um, like town park there so we can just see it all go off. It's really, really nice. This I purchased for a friend because they have like a tiki bar and on their outside, they have like a really awesome setup. But I thought it was cute. I thought they could put that up there. It says it's five o'clock somewhere. Really fun if you have a bar or something. Just something cute to kind of dress it up and make it look a little, you know, fun, which their bar is awesome. So this is gonna look really good. Okay, so now we're into just a couple of everyday sort of buys. These I actually bought for school for Sam. I like to pick her up a couple of these um, little Kleenex packages and then she can keep them for school. Um, again, it's summer, school's not starting for a few months, but it's always good to get kind of ahead of the game because it catches up with us and then before we know it, we're looking for a ton of school things. So I picked up a pack of those. Those are the emoji ones. They have character ones as well. So there's six in here. If you don't get like the character or emoji, I think there's eight in a pack, it's a little bit more, but sometimes getting the fun ones is exciting for the kids. Um, Next, what I picked up were these Brillo Basics reusable wipes. There are 12 of them. I've used them before. These work really well. So I picked up a pack of those. More repeat buys, these Scrub Buddies, the wet sweeper, like the Swiffer cloths. These work really good. I mean, 
for a dollar. You can't beat it. This is a bonus pack, so you get um, 10 versus the eight. And they work really well. And the only thing that I did was I kept my old Swiffer container. So when I open these, I just slap them in there so they stay sealed, so they don't dry out super quick. Because if you open this up, one thing I notice is like it resealing, it doesn't do the best job. So keep that in mind. If you do have a Swiffer, the plastic container, hold on to it. Don't throw it away if you're going to buy um, the ones from Dollar Tree. And then with the wet wipes, I also pick up the dry floor cloths. These work really well compared again to the Swiffer, which is much more costly for the difference. These do the job and you get 20 in here. So it's a really good value. Um, I'm picking up a couple more of the flip flops. I've been using them, especially at night, like to water my flowers and things like that. It's just nice to slip on something and go. Um, I have really big feet cause I'm six feet. 5'11", 6 feet. I think I'm 5'11 now because I'm actually shrinking as I'm getting older, which is super scary. But um, I picked up these with the anchors. These are so cute. The pink, easy to throw down. We have to put up the garbage, you know, cans for garbage day. I can just keep them, go do my thing and be done. For the kiddos, I picked up some awesome 3D journals. So if you have like Avengers fans, these are really cool. I've only seen these two, but check out Wonder Woman. It's like she's just pow, just popping out at you. This is for Sam. This is like, I saw this and like, I actually want this journal because I think it's just like awesome. It says Team Wonder Woman. I want to be on her team. So look for that. Again, stocking stuffers, guys. Pick them up now while your Dollar Tree has them because they won't have them forever. And then this one for Joe, if you look at, the, I mean, the way this looks and it's not going to do justice the um, camera is not going to do justice on these, but for a dollar, if you're having an Avengers party or if your daughter's having a Wonder Woman party, just to give these as favors, it's so much better than loading up the kids with candy to take home. It's just a nice, simple little gift. Check your Dollar Tree for little blind bag toys. They have, which my son was super excited, the WW, I think it's called WWE now, not, yeah. WWE um, little wrestling superstars that kind of the little wall walkers. So you get one superstar in here. Again, stocking stuffers. And then um, for my gifting box, which if you guys know, I am very famous for finding little extra gifts for birthday parties at like the Dollar Tree to add in with, you know, the original gift to kind of make it look like you're spending more money, but you're actually saving money when you do that. Let me tell you, my budget for kids parties is $20. Try and stick within the $20 mark, unless it's family members, then of course we spend more. But I got like a $10 gift last week, and then I gave five Dollar Tree items, which were killer Dollar Tree items. They were those um, poster board gift boxes that I hauled last video, stickers, just a ton of really good things. So it's always good to find these extra filler items for your kids' birthday parties that are attending, like friends from school, things like that. This is a Disney princess. It's like a sticker wall. They're repositional stickers here. Here's the board. So it's a little play board that they can go ahead and play with. I'm sure you're not gonna get a ton of uses out of this, um, but even for a dollar, this is a really cute little gift. And for summer, and guys, I'm going to have a Dollar Tree video on my favorite um, freezer finds at Dollar Tree. So a lot of you guys have been asking if we've tried some of the Dollar Tree foods. You know, we don't like buy them on a regular. There are some things for summer that I love to buy at the Dollar Tree in the freezer section if they have them. So I'm gonna be sharing that video with you guys shortly. So definitely look for that. But these were really, these are the spoon scoop straws. So like if you go to 7-Eleven and you get a Slurpee, they have these really cute straws. These colors are way on point. There's different, there's purple, pink, there's peach, there's yellow, there's red, there's blue. These are really awesome and you get 80 of them. So I wanted to get these because a lot of times we'll just make slushies at home and then they can just have these really cute straws. So definitely look for those at your Dollar Tree. I just have a couple more items, guys, and then my haul is over, but it's really a lot of stuff when you think about it. I found one of these lonely, it says shopping fun banks. 
that was just all by itself saying, buy me, buy me. And actually I'm gonna be passing this on to someone, but this is so stinking cute. I can't believe that it was there. Um, I haven't seen the banks in a while. I hauled some before, but this one is just like, it's got the cell phone, the car keys, the shoes, the cute handbag. So perfect, um, perfect, cute little bank. So I was happy to, I was really surprised to actually find that. And then for storage, my Dollar Tree has been mishmash on these containers. I've been wanting to get like, you know, at least five of the same um, containers. These are great for just like my stationary storage or um, these are great to store nail polishes or nail products. If you're like crazy about nail polish like me and you have a gazillion of them, these come in handy as well. Um, or if you have like, you know, just different, you know, if you foot soaks, things like that, or facial masks, you can make one for facials. These come in, these are perfect for all of the little things that you can put in there in one spot, easy to find. So I grabbed five of these essential totes. I love this color. You guys know I love this color. So I was happy that they had five of them so I could grab them. Food items. They still had more cereal at my store. I picked up a couple boxes for my parents. Um, I'm staying away from the, the sugary, sugary cereals. That is one of our things that we're trying to do now. It can be hard when they're so stinking cheap and you just want to buy them. But um, yeah, so I didn't personally buy any more for me, but that is a really, really good deal. Um, this week, the only thing I found for the kids were the fudge stripe cookies. These are the four packs. For summer, when we're on the go, when we're on the run, I love to have these packs, just something quick to just go ahead and give them, um, you know, to have. So when they need a little snack and same with the Schneider's pretzels, I got a bag of these. These are the minis. These I think are six. Yeah. I've gotten these quite a few times. So a six pack as well. I love the Dollar Tree for those items because they're super cheap and I keep these kinds of snacks for when we're on the go. So when they're home, anything that we have that's in like a larger bag, because obviously buying in a larger bag is cheaper, we use that at home. These are like when we're going out the door kind of things. My kids love these. I can't stand these. These cheese crackers with the breadsticks. They also have the pretzel ones with the cheese as well. And then for a treat, I got them the Ring Pop Sours. There's four ring pops in here, so four for a dollar, 25 cents, way cheaper than going to Walgreens or CVS and just picking up one. All right, guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. I'm really happy with what I got. Those mugs killed it this week. The mugs just topped my week. I am still searching. So if you joined my new um, Dollar Tree Facebook page, and I'll link it below, welcome. You guys are sharing so many amazing finds, and I'm just jealous, but so happy to see your finds. So thank you for sharing. New wish list item, I'm looking for those stationary, it looks like they're almost in boxes with the paper clips and binder clips. I've seen them in our Facebook group and I've seen them in other videos. So those are one of my wish list items that I'm definitely looking for along with more of the mugs. Can never have enough coffee mugs. Um, so hopefully in next week's video, you'll see some great new finds. I do love those gold tags that I found and check out the line at the end of this video. There are more products for you to go ahead and grab at your Dollar Tree. Fingers crossed that they have them. So thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing week. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.